it's me again. This is Real Talk with Amira. Another Pinterest post podcast. I'm really liking this, y'all, because like I said, Pinterest, free content. And it's evidently things people are thinking about or have on their mind because they're posting it. (laughs) Pinterest post podcast number six. I don't know which one I should do first. (laughs) These are all like juicy good, I think. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to do this one first. All endings are also new beginnings. It said beginnings, but new beginnings. We just don't know it at that time. At the time that it's happening. When something ends, there's always going to be something else that begins. There's always going to be a new start, a new person, a new relationship. You're in one relationship. Do you think you're never going to get in another relationship? Hello. Yes, you are. (laughs) And a lot of people are afraid of starting a new relationship. You started that one. Um, you bought a new purse, you bought a new hair, you bought a new car, you bought new eyebrows. It's always going to be something new. So don't be afraid. All endings are also beginnings. Man. You know, I used to, um, hold on. I I hold on. I'm uh, like a mini hoarder, but I do hold on to things, but buy something new. It's okay. Buy something new. And some stuff you can't hold on and repair and fix. And relationships. If you have to do that a couple of times, that's not the right relationship. But start something new. Next post. (laughs) I'm going to save that one for last. That's the best one. Ooh. If you're giving your all and it's still not enough, you're probably giving it to the wrong person. If you have had to work through, go through multiple problems, multiple issues, multiple cheating events, serial cheaters. If you've had to go through shit multiple (laughs) not twice not once no you know not once not twice not thrice multiple times 10 12 that that just sounds stupid as hell that is not the right person (laughs) look 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 y'all this year i told y'all i want to be more true for more and more honest with me and with others You're giving your love, your honor, your loyalty, your your passion, your... You're giving it all to the wrong person. (laughs) Look, let's stop. Stop. You're giving it to the wrong person. Mm, Okay, next. (laughs) If taking care of your mental health. You know what? We need to stop taking care of everybody else's mental health. I'm trying to make sure you're um, you're okay. You're placating. You're. I'm soothing you when I'm not soothing me. I'm not taking care of me to take care of you. That is that ain't gonna work. <laughs> I gotta take care of me first. You have to take care of yourself first before you take care of anyone else. If their mental health is fucked up and your mental health is fucked up, what kind of fucking relationship is that going to be? A fucked up relationship. Yep, you got it. Mm -hmm. Say it again. Think about that shit. (laughs) Uh, A mental health relationship. (laughs) Mm -mm. Nope. If taking care of your mental health means letting someone down everything can't be perfect all the time y'all i'm gonna let you down 
then let it let them down i'm sorry i can't do it i I can't talk to you today i can't i can't be a part of this circus and be a clown i can't be a part of this circus that you have me in i'm the number five clown i'm the number 10 clown i'm the number 12th clown I, i can't be a part of this circus anymore let people down it's okay they they let your ass down they don't let your ass down you in the well <laughs> you you way down there you in the well they have let you down tremendously so you know as i'm finding out 2022 this is gonna be a different year for me if someone has let me down and um ridiculously down i'm letting you down too bye Bye, little buddy. Peace. Walk on. Next. (laughs) Something to ponder on. The United States has become a place where entertainers and professional athletes are mistaken for people of importance. Stars, actors, um movie stars what yeah y'all know what i'm talking about i've needed a doctor i've needed a teacher i've needed my parents (laughs) i've needed and this is i need farmers every day if if everybody eats every day i don't know who those people are out there but if you eat food every day you need a farmer (laughs) <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm gonna just say that I'm gonna leave that right there. I have needed an auto mechanic, a plumber, a house painter. I miss my painter, um, and a lot of other everyday people. <laughs> but I have never, not once, <laughs> needed a pro athlete. I have never ever needed a Kardashian. I have never ever needed um, the strippers, the 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 rappers that are stri- they used to be strippers. I have never needed. I, I you know what I should have wrote that down a little bit better, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I have never needed pro athlete a media personality or a hollywood entertainer for anything absolutely nothing I, I, n- nothing nada no comprende nothing <laughs> look <laughs> all right on to my last one this is this is a quick one today but ooh, these were so good today and that one in the middle we're out here we're, we're propping up kardashians that that i don't know why kardashians because that's all i see y'all got them talking about kardashians um y'all have kardashians in your own neighborhood in your own city if you want to promote somebody pr- promote your own city <laughs> These people are never going to help you do anything. They are not promoting your city. They're not promoting anything good. They are promoting bad relationships. Fucked up relationships is what I'm talking about. They're promoting um, bad behavior. um, Divorces. They're they're, They're not promoting anything good. So um, get get a different diet <laughs> of what we what we're looking at because this shit this that's bullshit. All right, y'all. This is my last one. This is the best one. <laughs> Save the best one for last. Was that a movie? I don't know. Look, a harmless man is not a good man. A good man is very very dangerous is a very very dangerous man 
who has it voluntarily under control. Boy, mm -mm, that's that's a t-shirt poster. Men today, I, I don't know, but men have changed. They're not protectors. They're not providers. You know, they go both ways. Men, women, mm -mm, <laughs> look. A harmless man. Someone who... Shit, when we go out and some shit go down... Look, do I gotta be the man? Or are you gonna be the man? No, I need somebody to be the man. I need somebody to... I can go anywhere and I'm sure he's gonna be the man. If some shit go down, he's gonna protect me. I have no... Um, no doubt <laughs> that's the man this is my man he's he's gonna be the man <laughs> and he has that under control it's not gonna we gonna go somewhere and somebody gonna do some little bullshit and he gonna go off and explode mm -mm. nope he's under control he knows when to bring out the dangerous man <laughs> that's what I'm, I, I under control discipline we ain't got no goddamn discipline these days. That's sad. It's, men are no longer men. Women are long or no longer women. It is it's open up or <laughs> the jump ball. Hey, who gets it? <laughs> now, a harmless man is not a good man. A good man is very very dangerous very dangerous man who has it voluntarily under control boy i like that one y'all he, he might need to be worded a little different but i like it <laughs> and that's what type of man i want i want a man that's gonna protect me when some shit we might just go somewhere and i'm waiting i'm waiting on you to speak up and you don't and then i gotta speak up uh, hold up who's the man <laughs> Look, i don't need that no more and it's not being it's not about being aggressive it's about you're a man i'm a woman is there a difference all right y'all that was my um uh, pinterest post podcast number six today while nyla is gone <laughs> my grandbaby um so everyone january 30th 2022 what what are we gonna do <laughs> let's get it together it's okay it's okay to make changes it's okay to do something different try it risk i've been a risk taker all my life um when i was young i jumped off buildings jumped off steps uh i remember some of those jumps <laughs> be a risk taker not don't don't hurt yourself but risk taking in business and what you want to do in relationships it's a risk to leave somebody you feel like it's a risk but if you're leaving some bullshit that's not a risk that's a good that's a good choice that's a good um a good decision so this has been my real talk with amira pinterest post pinterest post podcast number six everyone have a wonderful evening change please change do something different this has been my podcast everyone have a great day peace <laughs>